I'm super excited to see that new screen, by the way, the XDR screen with those small bezels. And wow, this is so, so big. And yeah, it even looks pretty thick too. Hey, Wear Noticers, Shane here, and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome technology videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, computers, tablets, tech accessories, cases, and really just so much more. But anyway, folks, in this video, well, first of all, this is going to be a super special video because not only is it being filmed in 4K60 HDR, but it is also about this guy right here. So in this video, we're going to be unboxing this 16 inch 2021 M1 Pro MacBook Pro with one terabyte of SSD storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So now those of you who are familiar with this computer know that the 16 inch 2021 MacBook Pro, it has a starting price of $2,500. So needless to say, it is not exactly cheap. And this particular model with these particular storage and RAM specs will set you back about $2,700, this one that I have right here, before taxes and Apple Care. So after taxes and Apple Care, you're looking at $3,000 plus for a laptop. So yes, this thing right here is pretty crazy. It's supposed to be a beast, a monster of a computer. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to getting this guy out of the box. Here we go. So folks, here we are up close and personal with this box. As you can see, it is pretty huge. And I will also say when I was holding it there earlier in this video's intro, it is also quite a heavy box because obviously this is a giant computer right here. So on the front of the box, we can see a picture of it. You can sort of make out the notch right here a tiny tiny bit if you look very close you can see this sort of new boxy design and you can also see those really thin bezels pretty clearly as well but you know what let's just take the shrink wrap off and open it so here we go oh yeah that was satisfying now we can peel this off right here and voila shrink wrap off let's open it drum roll please here we go and wow it is once again a heavy box and we'll let this top come off nice and slowly, nice and gently and voila, that is a massive machine. Oh boy, guys, I've never had a 16 inch MacBook Pro ever. It's something I've wanted for a long time. So I'm happy I finally have it right here. So let's just pull it out of the box and wow, this is a heavy laptop and it's also huge. I'm super excited to see that new screen, by the way, the XDR screen with those small bezels and wow, this is so, so big. And yeah, it even looks pretty thick too. This is definitely a thick laptop right here. Anyway, let's see what else we have in the box. Right here, we got the new MagSafe 2 USB-C cable for charging up this laptop because yes, it charges with MagSafe. Thank you, instead of just having USB-C ports on this, so we can put this to the side. And over here, we have some paperwork. And right here, we have the USB-C power brick to plug into the wall. And we can go ahead and take the little protective wrapping off of the power brick right here. Let's see, does it have a piece? area okay there we go and we can take this off and as you'll notice it's actually a rectangle instead of being sort of like a square design this time right here we can take a look at the paperwork as well and in there we actually have some black apple stickers which is pretty cool usually apple stickers are white but i guess this better matches the black apple logo right there on the macbook pro and last but not least let's take this magsafe 3 to usb-c cable out of the box and one thing you'll notice about this cable that i think is really nice is it is actually braided so it's nice that apple's finally including some higher quality cables with their products right here but yes for how much money you're spending i guess yeah that should be expected but the braided definitely feels more durable with my first impressions here anyway let's open up the macbook here we go oh the little screen cover right here already wants to come off and boom it instantly starts booting up we can put this to the side and wow this is huge. First impression, I love this new keyboard right here. I think it looks super cool and sleek. How the sort of background of the keyboard, the area that isn't keys, is also black as well. And oh man, look at this screen, folks. I've gotta say, 
I know I'm gonna love this device. I love big screens and this screen looks amazing. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and set up this computer and then we can continue talking about it. Here I go. Oh boy, folks. So now I have the 16 inch M1 Pro 2021 MacBook Pro right here, all nice and set up. And I've been using it for just a little bit now, just having it sit in my lap and just play around with it. And I am super impressed. This really does, you know, like I said earlier, it's essentially a $3,000 plus laptop it actually feels like that. Yes, the build quality of this is amazing. And this screen, I cannot say enough good stuff about it. First of all, it is huge. So right here, I have my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro 2020. And as you can see, I mean, this screen dwarfed this screen right here. It makes it look like a baby laptop when, you know, it isn't. It's just a regular size laptop. I also really like how thin these bezels are around the screen. And yes, we do have the notch right here. And you know what? So far, first of all, I do wish they included Face ID since I feel like if an Apple device has a notch, it should have Face ID like all the iPhones. But I guess that's okay for now because it does have Touch ID. But ideally, I would prefer if it had Face ID and Touch ID. I think that would be the best combination. But the notch, I mean, so far, I don't really mind it. To me, it just makes it look like a futuristic Apple device because a lot of Apple devices, essentially the iPhones these days do have notches. And I mean, where else are they gonna put the camera? Yes, I do agree. A lot of people say they think the notch should be smaller since it doesn't include Face ID. That would be nice. But at the end of the day, when you think about it, I mean, this space right here at the top of the computer, you don't really use this. And it lets you get all this extra menu bar space over here and over here. And also, yes, if you're wondering, look, you can bring your mouse, behind the notch see right now it's behind there and yeah so that's kind of interesting let me know what you guys think should the mouse be able to go behind the notch like this because it can um, another thing too about this display since it is one of apple's liquid retina xdr displays it looks great for hdr now i haven't got a chance to watch any hdr videos on it besides this one that i'm recording right here because i've already started looking at the editing on this um, i put some of the files into final cut pro and as you can see they're already showing native HDR in the viewer right here. We got HDR here, HDR here, HDR here. And you know what? Let's see. How does playback look? Yep, it can play back nice and smoothly these different HDR files, which is really nice. I'm super excited to do some more video editing on this computer and test it out more. Obviously right here, this is just an unboxing video. But yeah, obviously side by side with the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, this guy right here, the 16 inch is just so much cooler and really, really amazing. One of the big differences between these, not only the bezels and the notch, but also the uh, new one, the 16 inch gets rid of the touch bar. So for me personally, I thought the touch bar was a cool idea, but one thing that was annoying about it is you'd have to look down at it to be able to use it. And you'd have to sort of fumble around to even do simple things like change the volume. Whereas here, I mean, I can type on a keyboard without looking at it. So I do appreciate having um, actual tactile function keys right here because I can change the volume super easily like that. So that is nice. Another thing too that I really appreciate about the 16 inch right here is it brings back ports. So the 13 inch, it only had two USB-C ports and a headphone jack, which is pretty annoying. But on the 16 inch, we got a lot of ports. Well, at least a lot by Apple standards. We got a MagSafe 3 right here for charging, two USB-C ports, a headphone jack, over here, we've got an HDMI port, we've got another USB-C port and an SD card slot. So I'm super happy about that because the HDMI is something I use a lot because I always like to have my MacBook connected to an external monitor, so that's good. SD card, same thing. I do record a bunch of videos with this Canon camera right here, which uses an SD card, so that's nice to have as well. Now, I won't have to use a USB-C adapter, which is super annoying if I want to do those things right there, which is really nice. Nice. Anyway, with that, that pretty much cuts it for this nice, quick, easy unboxing of the 2021 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro right here. And if you guys do want to see more detailed videos about this machine right here, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos, including ones like those. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye. I'm super excited to keep using this guy. See you guys.